conference here. Jordan Love had a horrible first day at OTAs. Second day, he was a lot, lot better, and he come out Electric. in media and says that he he will be ready by week one to start in the NFL. But the coach says he still has a lot to room to grow. So, Combs, I want to kick it to you first since you are all here on my top left already. What does this tell you about Jordan Love? Is he really going to be ready by week one? I just Before I get to Jordan Love, Joey says, all right, make this the last episode I'm watching. Joey, <laughs> this ain't the last episode you're watching. Stop we, it. We love you, buddy. You, I mean, you've got to watch your stepdad in action. Wow. <laughs> all right. So, Jordan Love. <laughs> 123 edit mark. <laughs> got it. <laughs> We've got a lot of edit marks in this show already. We, so, we might as well just send in yesterday's show. Fuck it. So Jordan Love says he's going to be ready by week one. I just uh, – I feel like everybody in the Packers organization is doing everything they can to make sure that they piss off Aaron Rodgers because there is no – way that Aaron reads these comments that that everybody talking about Jordan Love, Jordan Love talking about, all right, I'm ready, blah, blah, blah. They're like, it's not Jordan Love is not going to be the answer from Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love being ready for week one is not good news for Packers fans. And (laughs) I, I love the confidence. I love the fact that, you know, he says he's ready. He better be ready. Because there, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that comes along with being starting week one if you're starting for the Green Bay Packers. Well, I'll give you two of courses here, okay? Of course, the Green Bay coaching staff is saying, oh, he's got a lot of room to grow. You know why? Because they're trying to get Aaron Rodgers to come back. They're not trying to tick off. Because if they got on there and they were like, hey, this kid's ready. We don't even need that Aaron guy. Aaron's not – they're doing everything they can to get him to come back, and he's already probably not going to come back. So why would – of course they're going to say that. The second, of course, of course Jordan's going to say he's going to be ready week one. What is he supposed to say? Well, uh, I'm Blake might have to play week one, and then I might come in week two and play. No, he's got to say, hey, I'm the guy. I am going to be ready week one. You watch and see. I will be there, and I will play well. I will be ready week one. Don't you worry about it. He's got to say that. Quarterbacks, if a quarterback doesn't have confidence, he isn't a quarterback. It's, you, you, you're you in the wrong department, brother. If you're not, if you're a quarterback without confidence, you you hopped off the wrong bus station. Did you just you channel your inner Hulk Hogan? Damn right, brother. I think so. Brother, brother. <laughs> brother. brother. Hey, brother. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, Wyatt, if you want to flash back to, like, last week's show – uh, Matt Lafleur says that Jordan Love was no was nowhere near ready whatsoever, and we quote we need Aaron Rodgers in the worst way. So, yep, they are not giving you any smoke springs. Why Jordan Love is not going to be ready by week one. You can have all the OTAs in the world. You can look great in shorts and a t shirt. I was actually just editing a clip for the week off when Combs says the basically said the NFL combine was not needed because he doesn't need to see people running shorts and a T-shirt. We don't need to see a quarterback have a great OTA in shorts and a T-shirt. We need to see him have a great preseason game. Actually, no. We need to see him have a great week four, four game to see if he can really, you know, flourish in that Packers offense. Uh, that there is no way Jordan Love is going to succeed in Green Bay. He has too many, too many. Um, what's the word I'm lo- lo- looking for? Uh, Detractors. Too many, too many things going against him, pushing the opposite way. Yeah. De- Devontae Adams wants out if Aaron Rodgers isn't there. You know, I mean, and just like, and then the offensive line doesn't. Hold on, hold on. Did you see what he said today, though? What Devontae said? No. They they asked him if he'll be taking any time off. Kind of piggybacking off what he said about that. Yeah. And he said. No, I'm from – I don't remember where he's from in California. It's like three names. It's like St. Polo Lagoon, something like, I don't know what it is. It's something – three words, and it's something along those lines. He's like, I'm from St. whatever, California. I came from nothing, and I will not be losing any of my money and sitting out of OTA. So he kind of so, – so, so why did he backpedal after he was defending Aaron Rodgers so much? I don't know because I think that uh, – yeah, I think Jordan, you know, is kind of – it looks as of right now like Jordan is going to be – 
in a Green Bay Packers uniform stepping onto the field week one. It looks that way. And I think that Devontae is kind of realizing that now and being like, oh, I thought I was doing something good by getting Aaron to come back and then kind of now realizing, like, he's not. <laughs> maybe maybe not. W- worries are starting to set in more and more as we get closer and closer. Um, so I think that's kind of part of it. I think he kind of backpedaled a little bit and cha- changed his stance up a little bit. <laughs> Things are getting hairy over here in the chat. 